Excuse me. We having fun yet? Don't try anything, stranger. Hi. Don't try anything, stranger. Appreciate the fact that you're not an idiot. Uh, thanks? I guess? No, I, I didn't mean like... I could just use some help. This isn't the sort of thing I'd normally bother anyone else with, but you just seem really good with people, and I've got this issue with my sister, Nat, becoming me. Becoming you? What do you mean? I'm just terrified she's gonna start taking up like her big sis. I mean, think about the life we lead. No offense intended, Blue, but personal safety doesn't exactly seem like either of our strong suits. I can't have her ending up like her big sister. Dodging bullets and running from all the people she pisses off. It's part of the reason I'm on the road so much. Part of the reason I'm here with you. I keep thinking... Maybe if I make myself scarce, if I'm not around her enough, she'll cool off. She'll just go back to being sweet, innocent Nat, paper girl, an all-around upstanding citizen. What do I do, Blue? You just love her. Family's precious. The last thing you want to do is drive them away, because you might lose them forever. You're right. I can't risk that. Thanks, Blue. Who'd expect wandering off with a stranger to turn out this well? They really don't make them like you anymore. <laughs> You're a hell of a friend, you know that? Just friends, huh? Uh, well, yeah. I guess. I, I, th I thought so. Unless, you know, something changes. God, did it get hot in here? But hey, thanks again for listening. It's a real weight off my chest to be able to talk it out with someone. So, you wanna hit the road? Hey. Just let me know. Hold up a sec. Hey, don't try anything, stranger. Excuse me. Hey, don't try anything, stranger. Recurrence analysis using De Brovian method. Pam. Processing unknown human entity. Your arrival was not calculated. What do you mean it wasn't calculated? Temporarily unable to process verbal input. Still processing preliminary adjustments to statistical models complete. Commencing introduction. I was, am, and will most likely be Pam. Predictive analytic machine. Do you work for the railroad? Yes. My goals and the railroad organization 
have a high degree of correlation. They provide data. I provide first order approximations of the behaviors of all residents of the region, designated Commonwealth. Rephrasing, I predict the future. You see the future? That is this unit's primary goal. Caution. Biological life forms behave erratically, unpredictably. All output subject to an extremely high margin of error. Just how inaccurate are you? The smaller the group and the greater the time frame, the less accurate I become. But all predictions are affected by the human element. Operation complete. You are a rogue variable. No current or previous models predict your presence or existence. Query, what is your point of origin? I'm from Vault 111, if that's what you mean. Accessing Vault 111. Cryo Vault. Believed destroyed. Conversation terminated. Pending construction of new probability matrix. Rephrasing. Goodbye. Pam. Analyzing. There we go. I can patch you up if you need it. For a small fee, of course. What's new, Doc? Nothing that would interest you. Now, let's talk about you and your health. Not now. Let me know if that changes. visitor here has a courser chip. Whoa! For real? Oh man, it's been ages! Right. Some ground rules. Tom can get you the code, but once he's done, we get the courser chip. I don't know. I might need that chip later. This isn't a negotiation. This is a demand. To anybody else in the Commonwealth, all you have is two caps worth of salvage. With us, that data is priceless. But we're not just going to give that away. Talk to me again if you change your mind. Hey there. Made up your mind. We decode the coarser chip- Miss High and Mighty. Fine, it's yours. All right, Tom, make it happen. All right, little coarser chip. Let's have the circuit analyzer take a crack at you. Hey there. Give Tom time. We're in. Chip accessed. Just spoke to analog connectors a little. What? Oh man, don't, don't, don't crash. Hold it together. Memory hiccup. Here it comes. Encryption algorithms. All right. All right, we're still running. Oh man. They've added more decimals to the last cipher. This is gonna be. Come on, baby. Show me that pattern. Where is it? Wait. They're using the same logarithmic function as the key generator. Oh man, we got lucky. I got you, you institute bastard, I got you. Software in, come on. Show me that sweet bass note, come on. Then we got it, we got the code. <laughs> Let me load that onto the hollow tape for ya. Good work, Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not sure our luck will hold up next time, Des. Start working on the rest of the chip, and you. I'd love to work with you more. Let me know if you're interested. But to be crystal clear, if you use that data and discover anything involving the Institute, you share it with us first. Otherwise, our relationship will be in jeopardy. Heads up. What can I hold up a sec? 
<clears throat> if we're going to be dealing more with each other, I need to make sure that we're on the same page. You know what a synth is, right? I've heard rumors about them. They are synthetic humans created by the Institute. So close to real people that the distinction is meaningless. The Institute treats synths as property, as tools. That sounds like slavery. Exactly. So we seek to free the synths from their bondage. Give them a chance at a real life. I have a question. The only question that matters. Would you risk your life for your fellow man? Even if that man is a synth? Once, I pledged my life to protect my countrymen. I don't see this as any different. Well said. Someone with your skills, your beliefs, normally we'd try and recruit you. But right now, we don't have the time to train up a new agent. There are, however, other valuable ways you can contribute. And in turn, we can help you. See Deacon for details. You're free to go. We'll file out separately after you leave. Best not to attract attention here. didn't mind the reception. When you tango with the Institute, you gotta be careful when someone new gets on the dance floor. Do you really have to be so cagey? Wasn't what I'd call a warm welcome. The precautions are necessary. In our business, if we underestimate our enemy's capabilities, it's game over. But it's all good now. I vouched for you, nobody got shot. Still, I would consider it a close personal favor if you didn't sell us out to the Institute. Thanks. So tell me, why did you vouch for me? In our little outfit, it's my job to know things. And with everything you've done, it's clear you're capable. A dangerous enemy. And I'm betting, a valuable ally. But why the trust? You can't be taking it all on faith. I don't know if we can trust you, but I hope we can. We just survived a hell of a crisis, so we may just be a teeny weeny bit desperate for new members. If everything was sunshine and bottle caps, we'd probably play a longer getting to know you game, but we don't have that luxury. Don't worry, I'll keep your secret. That's what I want to hear. So Dez wants me to make you a tourist. That's what we call someone who helps out with the odd job here and there. What a waste. I'm just gonna come out and say this. The railroad needs you. You sure you need me? Desdemona didn't seem to care. She's just thinking of the time and manpower it would take to train you. And if you were some hick from the burbs that didn't know your ass from a rocket launcher, she'd be right. But I'm betting someone like you just needs a few pointers. And a target. You got my attention. I got a job. Too big for me, just perfect for the two of us. You help me out, we turn a few heads, and then Des invites you into the fold. Then, if you get into a bind and need some help, your buddies in the railroad got your back. Sign me up then. Perfecto. Let's meet up at the old freeway outside of Lexington. I'll fill you in once you get there. Protect and serve. Wasn't sure I'd see you again. You managed to get what you need. Do you have anything for me? I'll take that as a yes. Can't say I'm too surprised. You did get rid of Kellogg after all. Not too much of a leap to take down a courser. How'd you manage to get it decoded? The railroad helped me. Oh god, those kooks. I would have expected they'd be too busy trying to liberate vending machines, or setting computer terminals free, or... Sorry. They just have something of a reputation. You're not the only one who's been busy. I did the best I could. From memory and things I've overheard through the years. 
came up with some schematics for you. Wasn't easy. These hands are ridiculous. Fine motor skills have gone to shit. Here's the symbol explanation. You need to build a device that will hijack the signal the Institute uses to teleport coursers and send you instead. You know the craziest part of the design? That classical music station. That's the carrier signal for the relay. All the data's on harmonic frequencies. You've been hearing it all along. I want to be clear that this isn't my area of expertise. I was bioscience, not engineering or advanced systems or anything. Bioscience? Advanced systems? Divisions within the Institute. Specialized groups working on various projects. It'll make sense later. But if you can build this device and make use of that code, you should be able to override the signal from the Institute's relay. Can you? I mean, can you build it? You have people that can help. This is a lot for one person, even you. I got it covered. Good, good. Because you've got to make it in there. For both our sakes. And don't you forget our agreement. I've helped you as best I can. If you make it in there, you find that serum. It's my only hope for ever being normal. So you find it. Now go on. Take these and get to work. You do whatever it takes. Call on whoever you know to help you. Now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. The only logical explanation is that they've gone underground. That's where we need your help. Can you take a look at these schematics? A scientist named Virgil said they could get me inside the Institute. I believe you'd be better served showing these plans to Proctor Ingram. That being said, I'm pleased that you've chosen to build the device with the Brotherhood. Now. Indulge me for a moment by satisfying my curiosity. Tell me why you're so eager to get into the Institute. I think they're the ones who kidnapped my son. The Institute preys on the weak to further their own ends. Together, we'll make them pay for their crimes. I'll call ahead and brief Proctor Ingram. Report to the airport, and get to work on your project right away. Just fixed a few power armor mods and gave them to Tegan. 
You might want to check them out. Elder Maxon said you'd help me build the signal interceptor. So, looks like you're calling the shots around here now, huh? All right, I'll bite. What does your new miracle device do? The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. This machine can hijack their signal and send me instead. Teleportation? Molecular transmission via encrypted RF waves? Okay, even I have to admit, that's genius. This explains why we've been picking up anomalous energy readings all across the Commonwealth. Not to mention how they get their tin soldiers to come out of the damn walls. And this little beauty allows you to literally hijack a return signal. Instead of grabbing the intended target, it grabs you instead. Impressive. That all sounds impressive, but can you build it? If I can keep that flying pile of junk in the air, I can work miracles. It's difficult to make out all the details here, but I'm thinking you can get started by building a stabilized reflector platform. It's gonna take a cargo hold full of high-grade metal, but I'm sure that we have plenty of it right here at the airport. Can you give me a list of what I'll need to build this platform? Of course. Here's a list of everything you need to find. You're also going to need a massive power source to get the signal interceptor running. Proctor. Oh, my list of maintenance fixes keeps getting longer and longer. Look alive. What you got? Hey, here. Something to keep you sharp. Always worked for me. Your thoughts? Hmm. Nice to see there are still some folks with sense in the Commonwealth. Your thoughts? Let me know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. That was all I had. Okay. Institute alone? Sounds like a suicide mission to me. Sergeant? Let me guess. Captain Kells sent you? That's right. Let's take this somewhere more private. Follow me. We've converted this section of the terminal into our primary supply depot. Everything the Brotherhood needs to operate passes through here. Supplies from the Pridwin, salvage from the field, we handle it all. Access is strictly limited to the logistics detail, and we track every crate, every bullet, every bolt that comes through that door. Gavel. Which is why I don't take kindly to these accusations. I know every soldier in this unit. The thought that anyone would question their loyalty makes me sick. If you've got questions, ask. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Where should I begin my investigation? You shouldn't. This is a waste of time. I've already spoken with my men. They haven't seen anything. Tegan's scribes just fouled up the books again. If you insist on questioning someone, go bother Lucia or Clark. I can spare them. Lucia and Clark? Knight Lucia and Initiate Clark. They were just posted to this detail a few weeks ago. They're still learning their way around but I'll have them in shape soon enough. If you have to badger someone with your questions, it might as well be them. Tell me about the logistics division. I've been in charge of this unit for almost 10 years now. We're a small group. We stick together. And we keep the Brotherhood running. Tell me about the missing supplies. We're down over 20 crates, if you believe the scribes. All food, dried meat, Instamash, mac and cheese, it doesn't make sense. I could see someone stealing weapons or tech, but our thief goes to all this trouble for a lifetime supply of cram. That's all for now, Sergeant. Take my advice. Poke around a little. Then tell the captain to let it go. It's not worth your time or mine. food with you, or you'll end up eating some pretty questionable things to stay hey, alive. Hey, Clark. You're here about the thefts, right? 
Look, I already told Sergeant Gavel everything I know. Watch your tone, Initiate. I... Sorry, sir. Look, I want to get to the bottom of this as much as anyone. What do you want to know? What's the security situation here like? We're in the middle of a hardened military base, under constant guard. Nothing's getting in or out of here without us knowing about it. Tell me about the missing supplies. I really don't know anything. I've heard the rumors same as everyone else. But that's all. What rumors have you heard? Well, they say raiders with stealth boys hit the terminal every night. That supplies disappear faster than we can bring them in. It's a lot of garbage. I usually work the night shift. Believe me, the only thing you risk dying of is boredom. You really think the base is that secure? I do. And even if something did make it into the supply depot, there are knights on duty in here at all times. We'd see something. Tell me about the logistics unit. There are what, ten of us now? Something like that. Our division reports to Proctor Teagan, up on the Pridwin. Sergeant Gavel handles day-to-day -day operations. He's run logistics for years. Other than the sergeant, there's Lucia, me, the scribes, and a few other knights who aren't fit for field duty. Lucia? Excuse me. Knight Lucia. We joined the Brotherhood together. She'll probably get assigned to a patrol team soon. Me? I'll still be stuck here. That's all, Initiate. Sir? Copper wire. Copper wire. Could you tell me where... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think we've met. Knight Lucia, Logistics. What can I do for you, Knight? Do you have time for some questions? Oh. You must be here about the missing supplies. I'm not sure I can be of much help, but, um, what do you want to know? What's the security like around here? It's tight. At least two knights and a scribe on duty at all times. And we've got the entire base right here. We don't have much to worry about. Is there any way to get past all that security? Hmm. Well, you'd have to be in logistics. We're the only ones authorized to bring supplies in or out. Then what? Well, there's no way you'd get a full crate of supplies off base. With all the patrols, someone would notice. But why steal anything in the first place? The Brotherhood provides everything we need. No one here has any connection to the Commonwealth. I don't know. None of this makes any sense. Do you know anything about the missing supplies? Not really. I've heard it's mostly food and, um, vacuum tubes? No, sorry, they just lost those. You lost some vacuum tubes? How often are supplies lost around here? Someone had just filed them in the wrong place, apparently. Clark found them the next day. The little things do happen, but it never amounts to much. The sergeant may complain, but Proctor Teagan and his scribes are very thorough. One or two crates, maybe, but not this many. What's it like working in logistics? It's not a bad post. Sergeant Gavel is tough, but I've learned a lot from working here. I guess some people take to it and some don't. Like Clark. What about Clark? We joined the Brotherhood around the same time, about two years ago. We've always been friends. Well, until recently. Why? What happened? It was, uh... <clears throat> it was after the battle. The battle? Battle for the airport. It was our first real combat mission. It was something to see. The Pridwin coming in under full vertebrate escort. Guns blazing. We were one of the first teams to hit the ground. Dozens of ferals. We opened fire and cut them down. And hunted the ones that tried to run. It was everything I had hoped for. But Clark... He hasn't been the same since. It's like he's just given up. Since then, I've noticed him slipping off by himself. Once or twice a day. I never thought much of it, but... Do you think you could follow him? See what he's doing? His shift should be over in a few minutes. Maybe it's nothing, but I'm worried about him. All right, man, I'm that's it for today. Initiate. Excuse me. 